I'd like to share with you some exciting news that we have on the Shared Apex Loop project. And specifically this summer we've been working on some experiments on a variation of the Shared Apex Loop call, that we call the cross-coupled Shared Apex Loop. And we're going to uh, discuss a quick review of how it works, uh, show some of the modeling, some pictures, and then a second part we'll actually dive into on the air videos showing it operating from AM broadcast all the way up to nearly 12 megahertz. So last spring at the Dayton 2014 Hamvention, I discussed during my shared apex loop presentation some paths to uh, what I called extreme RDF or RDF approaching uh, 12 dB. And you know, what were some specific ways of doing that? The shared apex loop standard configuration out of the box can have an RDF depending on how you configure it between about 8 and 9.5 and dB. So going from 8 to 9.5 and dB to 12 dB is uh, is quite a quite a leap really. And so how is it done? We the models definitely predicted that it was possible and we wanted to take advantage of the nice weather this summer to see if the models were actually correct. So the challenge that I talked about during that presentation last spring was that uh, many loop antenna arrays have the challenge of the the backward um, high elevation signals creeping creeping in off the back, and that essentially lowers the RDF numbers on those arrays. So the solution is something that we're calling the cross couple loop. In essence, what it is, it's a shared apex loop with with a zero delay, and so the signals are coupled together such that that they cancel. And um, and the resulting pattern is bidirectional, like a loop, but uh, is has a strong null off the top, like a vertical. So it's a it takes really the best of both. Uh, you have a pattern like a bidirectional vertical in this cross couple loop pair. So if you take two of those pairs, uh, one I'd say in the northeast direction, one in the southwest direction connected to a switch assembly, a shared apex switch assembly, through a delay line, then you achieve the pattern shown in the in the picture. And in July of uh, this summer, we built uh, that configuration with pretty small loops, nine foot by nine foot loops. And uh, the results were very promising. The front to side ratio was very apparent uh, immediately. Uh, signals that I was used to hearing uh, to my north and or south were were down easily 20 to 30 dB and uh, it was not just a few but they were all of them. Uh, the front to back was very respectable very similar to what we we had seen on the on the shared apex but I wanted more forward forward gain I wanted more sensitivity on the lower bands so in August we I built a uh, a larger version in this configuration we have loop size of 8 feet high by 16 feet wide and the pattern shown is at 160 meters and the model promises an RDF of 12 dB. Frequency range uh, we're, we're definitely seeing uh, 1 to 12 megahertz front to back uh, good pattern all the way through that range. Here's a photo of the of the array as built this summer. It's, a, it's supported by three fiberglass poles and the loops are all identical. They're all just uh, loops of wire and they are coplanar and they are that's it. <laughs> it's basically just four loops all in a all in a row. Couplers are positioned in the in the center of each loop and uh, then the they're ordered in an east and west direction that just worked out a little bit better on this property and the shared apex switch is in the center uh, supported by the center pole the delay line is on the ground next to it here's a photo that some of the components of shared apex switch this is just the standard shared apex switch that you get from array solutions i i do include uh, in the experiments an isolation transformer uh, the purpose of this was to improve the front to back ratio on 80 meters. We're still investigating exactly why that's necessary, but it did definitely improve the performance on 80, 80 meters. 
it's essentially just Biffler wound 400 microhenries per uh, per winding. And then the couplers, each loop has a coupler. The coupler uh, for these experiments was positioned right in the center of each loop. And these are one-to-one -one couplers. Other ratios work fine also. Schematically, we have a first loop pair that is uh, connected to the northeast terminals and then a second loop pair connected to the southwest. Notice the isolation transformer for, for each pair. And then we have the delay line connected. And in this case, I, I'm using the 35 nanosecond delay line. We also include a reference antenna. The purpose of this was to provide a nominal uh, antenna that, that had nominal directivity just as a comparison. And that nominal antenna is shown in the red there, and we just designate it with uh, letter R for reference. And each leg is 20 feet long, and it's running orthogonal to the array. So that's it for part one. Uh, part two, we'll dive in and actually uh, show the, the array in operation. So I encourage you to, to look at that. In addition, we'll be talking about this on the Shared Apex Loop Yahoo group, and it's an open group. Uh, so if you're not a member, you can still come over and, and view the messages and feel free to join, join the group and join in on, on the discussion. And as always, uh, raysolutions.com is always also a good source of information. 73 from KB7GF.